Hey community, today I am going to be answering a question on the use case of uh, Frappe stable multi-select and then later on we are going to be seeing how to actually use it in our application development. So stable multi-select, first of all to answer the question and also present the use case, allows you to select a number of options within one field that is in the application that you are building. A good example here is, uh, assume you are building a healthcare management system and you need a place where your medical practitioners or maybe your doctors can enter um, the presenting complaints that the patient has brought. So for instance, you can say the patient has brought in uh, a scammer with a headache, they have come in, come, come in with something like, let's say, uh, toothache and any other maybe pale skin or anything like that. Now, those items is good to be presented on one, uh, one field so that they for ease of accessibility. So in that case, table multi select works excellently and that is where we can use them. Today we are going to be seeing an example where maybe we are going to have a table for people and then within that table we are going to be needing to select the mix of cars that somebody likes or the mix of cars that someone, uh, uh, someone knows. So we are going to have uh, three doc types and then let's go direct into code and I will show you how exactly you can use this feature. So here I am on my ERP instance and I will go straight to the doc type section. Right? Uh, and here I'll go ahead, I don't, don't worry about the doc types that are already there, so I'll go ahead and create my own doc type. I'll call it something like vehicle, vehicle make and then within this vehicle make um, i'm going to add a subscription management some subscription management module there and then i just need one field here which i'm going to call uh, make for instance you can call it whatever name you want then i can go ahead and make this uh, mandatory right then i'm going to go ahead and save that and i have this one field within my doc type so this is the doc type which i need to save all the mix of cars right so i'm going to go ahead and navigate to that specific doc type Currently the list is empty because we just created it. Then I'm going to add a few, maybe something like uh, Benz. Benz. I go ahead and save that. I'll create another make. No, maybe I just need to change the naming series of that because I don't want to see this. So I will go back here and then I will do a field here and then I'll do make. Make. So I want this to be named after the make of the car that I just I just created. So now if I reroll this and I create a new make of the car, let's give this some time. So create a new make of the car. I'll just add the bends that I had. Bends, I'll save it. I'm supposed to see bends there, cool. I'll add another car, maybe a BMW. I'll save it. And maybe I'll add yet another, which is maybe a Mazda. All right, we are going to add others from our from our form so we have three mix of vehicles there now the next document that i am going to create remember this is the document that is going to contain all the mix of the cars now i need a document called people that i am going to uh, where i will be needing these uh, to select the mix of cars that someone knows or that someone loves so i'll go back to my doc type list here and then i'll go ahead and add one more doc type and I'm going to call it maybe, I can even call it person. And then here I will just put it in the same subscription. And then maybe I'll just do a few friends here, like maybe a full name of this person. I'll do maybe an email of this person. And I also do a mobile number of this person, right? And maybe I can also break that just to make it look a little bit more beautiful. And then I'll do a column break and then that's it. Here I can also change uh, the naming, so I'll do format here, and then I'm going to do the full name, full name. So I want this to have the full name in the naming, and I also want to have the mobile number. So notice that I have used format here because I want to use two of those. If I wanted to use one, I would have used field instead. So I save this, and then I have that. Now, notice that we have not yet added. So if I go to this, you'll notice that now I can add a person here. Like, let's say Geoffrey. 
karani and the email is karani at pearsoft.com I missed the spelling of that pearsoft.com and maybe my mobile number is positive 254725307131 and then I say now I want to be able to also select the mix of cars maybe somewhere here that I love and therefore I am going to add one more field uh, down here and that is what we are interested in today so here I need to add um, maybe I can just call this loved car mix something like that loved car mix this is very important it's supposed to be a table multi select and then this being a table multi select it needs to point to another dog type which is a child table now remember this is supposed to have our vehicle mix but we cannot do vehicle make here because this dog type which is the vehicle mix is just an uh, um, an ordinary dog type with the list it's not a child table so we need to go and create a that dog type which is now going to connect between our person's dog type and the vehicle make dog type right so here we create another dog type we can maybe call this vehicle make detail detail or whatever you like to call it you can even call it make detail doesn't ma matter and then here we can still put it in the subscription management remember to check his child table that's very very important and then here we are going to need to add um, maybe you can call this vehicle make and this is going to be a link remember because we want to fetch from our vehicle make here All right so I'll copy this and then that's being uh, not here sorry but here in the new doc that we are creating that being a link we need to provide that there right like that as simple as that and then we're going to save that and now we have a doc type that is a link so if i copy this now go to the person's table where i want to connect it i can just paste this here remember this is a table multi select the other that is a link is just a link that is linking to the other doc type that has all the list of the car mix so if i go ahead and save this now and I go to Geoffrey Reload, I will see a new field here. There you go. And now if I open it, I have the three mix of cars that are inside here. Now, I can go ahead and actually add a new make directly from here. Let's say, for instance, I love Toyota and Toyota is not here. I can click on that. You notice that that navigates to a new page. So how do you avoid that? We go to the make of the cars that is in the doc type. So I'll, I'll, I'll go here, go to the doc type go to the vehicle make doc type and then I will just allow quick entry and then make sure that this field also allows quick entry that will prevent uh, our system from navigating to a new page just to add one record so if I click here now I can click on here and that shows a pop-up and I love to order for instance and then so here now if you open it we have I can say I love BMW I have love Mazda and maybe I love Toyota. And you notice that the list is also filtering uh, those that have not been selected. So if I select that, we see now we don't have any here. We need to create a new one. And I can go ahead and maybe say Daihatsu, something like that. Daihatsu. Maybe something like that. And then I can save it. And now if we open this, I see Daihatsu here. Selecting it also gets off the list. So that is table by select. And you notice that if you go back to our mix table, the two that we just added, that is Toyota and Daihatsu. I've also been added to this list so that is how we use table multi select and that is how we implement it within frappe and erp next thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video